Hello, Burlington Social Studies teachers. I'm Jen Sheffer, and I wanted to make this video especially for you so that you are aware of all the amazing content that is available in Discovery Education that aligns with social studies. So to begin, you'll be in your educator dashboard, and then from there, you're going to click on Browse Subjects. Next, you can scroll down and click on Social Studies. You'll see that Discovery Ed has curated channels for each topic. We have everything from civics, United States history, Canadian studies, geography, ancient civilization, and world history. You can see there are instructional activities. These are featured studio creator boards that have interactive activities already embedded in them. Um, we have popular social studies channels. We have current events. We have trending topics. We have virtual field trips. So um, whether you're teaching at the elementary, middle, or high school level, you are going to find some incredible, uh, vetted, high-quality, award-winning content in this platform. So if we click on civics, you're going to see we have economics and government. If we click on economics, we have discovery ed picks. We have video segments, full videos, images, activities, and then more resources. I'm going to just click that back button. We have government. And again, we have those discovery ed picks and video segments. Going to head back. In United States history, we have a wide variety of topics. So we have the beginnings to 1620, colonization, American Revolution, so on and so forth. So you can see if you want to dig a little deeper into a specific topic that you teach, you can do that here. You'll see trending topics in United States history along with current events. So bringing some relevancy to what you teach is extremely important. Um, I'm going to head back. We have Canadian studies. So I know um, at the elementary level, we do a, a Canada and Mexico project. So again, for the students who are learning more about Canada, they'll um, you can share resources with them from this platform. Um, there's Canadian culture, their economic system, famous people, geography, ancient times, uh, civics. So a lot of great resources to share with your students regarding that topic. We also have geography. In here, we have places and regions, uses of geography, living systems, physical systems. So a huge amount of topics for you to explore and share with your students. We have ancient civilization. You can see all the various topics here in that area. And then we have world history. And in world history, we have medieval, renaissance, and the enlightenment, industrial revolution. We have Victorian and the Edwardian errors and contemporary world history. So if I went back and I said, okay, I want to explore United States history a bit more, the American Revolution, I can come here and I'll see Discovery Ed Picks, and I'll see video segments, I'll see images, more resources, and anything that I find that I um, want to explore further, or I already know that I want to um, share these resources with my students, I can, maybe I want to give them the um, a tour of the National Archives. I can click on this. Uh, many of our students can't actually go out and um, travel and, and take these actual tours. So this is a way that we can bring some of these um, historical places right into our classroom. So what I could do is I can add this to my quick list, and there it is. If I wanted to assign this directly or share this, pardon me, directly with my students, I can do so through Google Classroom, or I can take this link, copy it, and then I can paste it into Seesaw. So um, again, Discovery Ed has some fantastic um, content to share with our students. And as you can see from this quick overview, if you teach social studies, this is a um, amazing platform for you to get relevant current content um, that's timely and that will get your students excited about those essential questions. It will get them thinking about those essential questions and um, really motivated to achieve the learning goals that you establish. So I hope this overview of what's available for you as a history um, uh, or social studies teacher has been helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me so we can collaborate on curating these resources, organizing them in folders and um, 
sharing them with your students. I appreciate you watching and thank you so much.